Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run, where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier permission. So, today is I think a great example to um, learn a little bit about how to correctly evaluate missions. Before we jump into it, we do have a new terror mission in, in New Arctic. Um, essentially forcing us to again uh, stop a retaliation mission. Now immediately the average player and I fall uh, into the uh, into the same fallacy from time to time, the average player would think oh my gosh I, I definitely need to counter this one. But hold on, wait a second, just be very clear what the consequences um, um, of your plan are and maybe, just maybe you're not in the situation because you maybe have wounded soldiers and sometimes it is better to just let the mission go. The reason why I'm saying uh, why I'm saying this is we're currently, for instance, in a situation where a failed um, retaliation mission will cost us multiple things. Number one, if, if it's not in our home country, it will cost us a country, um, a country or region. We have no other region than the home region, so by definition, that is not the case. Secondly, uh, you will lose some income as they are cracking down your, your base. We are already at minus 200 income so far, so it w really wouldn't make a, a difference. And as you have seen, the, the less, the less um, items um, or the, the further we are behind the curve, the more the game tries to, to give us something for free. Like we're scanning here again for Alien Alloys and Hilario. Um, and the last time that we did it, it was like, what, almost 100 uh, each. We have Alien Alloys over here. So the game's really very benevolent uh, with us, which means if you are aware about those mechanisms and don't fall for the immediate pitfall of I need to win the mission, um, You then you can make more, um, let's say, thought through decisions. I'm not saying you should fail missions, but I'm saying you should weigh off whether or not it's worth going on to mission. We're taking one person with us, mainly because Hogbite here already is a colonel and we need him for the next uh, covert ops mission him and noxus essentially as a team um, should do the covert ops missions and as far as i'm concerned regarding scorch here he might be able to score a kill or two and that's pretty much it like that's the entirety of um, of our exposure to the mission if there's anything in the mission that uh, is remotely dangerous let's say pack of berserkers or chrysalids or whatever uh, typical pitfalls for uh, for uh, retaliation missions then we're simply going to skip the mission and evac all right there we go so we have no cover um, no concealment rather and we gotta save some civilians. So before we do anything stupid, let's take an overlook here. Nothing, which means we can't overwatch. Can't uh, afford a yellow move because we might, oh, wonderful. I was about to say we might move into something dangerous and the first thing we're seeing is our chrysalides. Yeah, I think this mission here is not going to be a success. There is little chance for us to to kill an entire pack. We can, we might be able to kill a chrysalid if it moves into Overwatch range. Look at that, we have a civilian over here. All right, Overwatch again.
As long as the mech kills them, we're effectively fine. Because then the chrysalids are not repopulating. Wow. We know there is an entire pack like right there. Well, nothing wrong with overwatching. I don't think that we can kill the pack. Maybe if we're taking over the mech, but that is highly unlikely. Well, we saved one. And we dealt some damage, okay. Alright. Time to not risk it all. Nope. Definitely not gonna work out. Well, with the mech we might have been able to... Yeah, not even that, because the mech wouldn't have been able to act. Well, you know, we saved one, and that's a, that accounts for something. I might have, I, I might have been able to kill someone if I would have focused on the shield bearer instead. And there we go. Probably haven't received a promotion for that. Well, at least he got a mission in, and we only lost 14 supply, which, again, doesn't matter because we're not getting our supply from here. I can tell you, though, speaking about supplies, we might want to check out if we can get some supplies at the black market, because we're pretty low on supplies, and selling some items plus purchasing some might be the right choice. We're not selling the trooper corpses, but we can get rid of some advent officer corpses. Always sell them when uh, when they are interested in it. And here are 154 supplies for 40 intel. I think even that we do have 212 intel, that's a decent price. Good. Avenger. Back to scanning. Like I said, resource-wise, maybe with the exception of supplies, we are pretty fine. Got blue screen protocol here. I am wondering if the Shadow Keeper might be worth it, but probably not. School mining is something that I would want to research once we do have another Elarium core. With school mining, we can um, get regular facility leads for all of the facilities, and that way we don't need to expand. We can basically sit in our one region. So, powered armor, 
33 days and requires a mutant autopsy, which I think we can start. Central officer. And maybe that way we can skip uh, the um, oh the powered armor. Look at that, 101 alien alloys and 129 alarm crystals. I might want to touch on that for a second. So it's very important to understand how the game thinks. Uh, I see a lot of complaints in the forums about it's impossible to win um, because I'm so far behind and it doesn't make any sense. The reality is, unless you do not lose, um, you effective. It's a difficult. It's difficult to say, but unless you do not actively lose, i.e., UFO is getting shut down or you're losing against the Avatar uh, project, the game is not over. The game is over when the fat lady sings, and that happens only in those two cases and those two cases only. Facility lead, exactly what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. So good. So. What I was about to say is the game essentially recognizes what you need. Uh, for instance, if we would have full context the entire time, there's a higher percent chance that the game is spawning contacts because it assumes we need them and we just can't afford or we're stuck in, um, in not making contact. Let's look at that for a second. I, I still want to finish the train of thought. Um, if we have a low number of scientists, the game essentially will offer you either scientists uh, to, uh, to, to scan here or via covert ops mission. So the game will find ways to offer you alternatives to quote unquote make you unstuck. It, it won't allow you to permanently fall behind the curve. So that means also that not only am I getting more things uh, to scan, getting all of that shit for free, also, the rewards themselves are incredibly like potent. We just got 100 um, intel and 100 alien alloys. Like, look at uh, uh, 100 alarium and 100 alien alloys. Look at the alarium and the alloys. If we were to sell that, uh, that shit goes like 3 for 1, 4 for 1 uh, ratio in the uh, black market. So we could easily convert a lot of it into supplies. I'm just saying, and not that we're going to do it, but. That's a substantial amount of funds that we do have there. Okay, anyways, I discussed <laughs> lengthily about it. Hack the hidden resistance computer for 102 Intel and essentially countering a dark event. You know, I would say same deal as before. We're going in with our, with our uh, specialist and maybe we're able to hack it, maybe. Normally, this would be a perfect mission for the Reaper. Reaper is on covert ops mission still, so might as well take Scorch here. Or, since the covert ops mission is only one more day, let's finish the covert ops mission first, and then we're getting. Yeah, yeah. So the covert action soon is. <sighs> Why is the mission disappearing before before the covert action? Mission is there for over twenty four hours. Well, it's not that bad, so don't don't get hung up on it. It happens. We, we would have killed maybe a lost or two, and that's about it. Okay, mobility plus, ions is, uh, plus one is good. I think we had something with plus health, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. Six days for health and another six days for health. No? Yes.
you know what, let's pay the 25 in order to make sure that they are not getting injured. I much rather want to continue using them. Now it's time to get one mission in after the other. And by the way, we just got a Reaper to the highest rank. Perfect. Banish and Himalayate. Tactical rigging is very good for her. I like it. Homing mine is also good. This here allows the utilization of ammunition, which is good for her. We need to give her some ammunition. So she certainly can do some of the missions by herself then. Specifically, once we get a f uh, facility lead here, we should be fine. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone. Part armor here. With the alternative of staring down a mutant. I agree. That is an important. Thirty-three days is a long, long time. Specifically, since we only have three scientists, but. It's the highest level of armor, and that would increase our hit points drastically. Would be nice to get the other plus one health. Unfortunately, uh, we can't do that. Uh, aim, aim, hacking, aim, will. I think we could go for, go for mobility. Uh, it's something which we need as well. And increasing, increasing the faction will help us even more because we would get another um, not an infection influence, but we would also get another slot and we would get um, new um, uh, oper operative um, orders. So that would be helpful. And mobility is a stat which the Templar couldn't get enough of. 30 days is a little bit long, but the other rewards simply weren't as promising. Good, got a facility lead. So we would need to research the facility leads if we were to do that. But for now, I think we're fine. By the way, got another alien alloy and Illyrium crystal thing. So we're continuing to, to get these missions. That's an interesting supply crate mission. Maybe we can squeeze in one or two of the crates. Everyone's wounded with the exception of Scorch here. So he's probably going to be 
our guinea pig. Uh, we don't need either of those. We don't even have classes using them. Blue screen rounds would be nice. Um, you know what? Let's build one blue screen round. Just in case that there is a mechanical problem. A mechanical unit that can make the difference between being able to kill it or not. So yeah, success would be maybe one crate and then just basically getting out of there. You guys know the drill by now, so it's a fast mission just to get a crate. And there we go, we start concealed. And we just need a crate. Single one will do. Might as well also lose the soldier. Let's just be clear. We could kill the Codex for once. <laughs> it's a good feeling that something can be one shot. Yeah, there's a solid chance that we would one-shot this uh, Codex. Alright, moving up. Really, the idea is <coughs> let's get close to a crate. I can see the ground shaking, which tells me there is an Andromedon or even worse, a Sectopod. If that's the case, then... Yeah, eh, then we... can just fly home. There's definitely a bigger enemy like moving around here. Okay, so we can mark this one. And we can go on Overwatch, which means we will get one crate. Yep, we will get exactly one crate. Wow, frame drop. Yeah, 12 points of damage. And there is our recovery. Yep, there is the Andromedon. Oh, and two Spectres. Whoa. That's a lot. Good, we could kill the Codex. Of course, we're missing. Should have known that he has uh, fear of missed shots. That is uh, indeed a bad, a bad fear. He might have, uh, if if he would have failed, he could have just crouched. I was hammering the key to get out of there, in the hopes it would 
it would uh, happen before the fear actually triggers. There we go, excellent work. Zero kills, but excellent work. And we got 40 supplies. Nice, we can go, we could go to level three as a bond. But both of them are currently on a covert ops mission. There is another scientist, which I think we could get even more important than the Illyrium and the the crystals, uh, the alien alloys. With another scientist, we can speed up the research just a little bit more. Let's take a short look here. 30 days, so if there would be another um, scientist, yeah, we can't put him in the lab, but if there would be another scientist, it's probably going to reduce it to 20 days, maybe? Uh, give and take. Um, yeah, the facility lead would take us two days. That's important to keep in mind just in case we need it. Okay, let's take a good look. See, we failed a lot of missions, but we also made a lot of progress. So overall, that was actually quite good. She's pretty much set back, so that'll take a time until she comes back up. Yeah. He might be able to ambush us in two months. This here would be interesting. Speed of all armor research is increased by 15%. That's an essential additional scientist if we want to do that for one month. You know what, why not? The shredding is also good. Also the experience. But for this one month we might take a bit extra a bit extra um, research speed. And who, who just came back? I think Roby, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I guess it was Roby. Okay, let's continue with the scientist. There we go. So with her, I think we did not speed up that much. Still 18 days. Maybe one of the things that we could check is the black market. There might be a few items uh, of interest for us. First and foremost, <laughs> we could sell Elarium. And although we need a lot of Elarium, N supplies per Larium is an incredibly attractive price. So much so that it might solve all of our supply issues. Yep, 2000. <laughs> okay, that was good. Uh, superior speed. I would like to buy that one.
We could buy another major, but I don't think that we need it at the moment. Yeah, we could buy another major, but like I said, even though it's tempting, I think we should keep uh, the Intel. The reason why I wanted to have the speed um, one is I feel we could give that to her. And that means whenever we are extracting a VIP, she essentially can um, can definitely run to the to the Avenger. I've got to hand it to the aliens. The invasion was one thing. Last but certainly not least, did we find a repeater? No. A superior repeater, I would probably buy that as well. Simply because it is so good to have a 15% instant kill chance. Comes in very handy. Speaking about a VIP rescue mission, I think this is a good time for us to um, end today's episode and start the next episode because we can get an engineer and 104 intel. Maybe we need to rescue the VIP out of a cell that would uh, that would be beneficial for us because we can simply stealth there, open the cell and get out of it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I think we're on a really solid uh, track to progress. Um, it's been a pleasure and if you like the run, if you like the idea, if you like where we're going, just leave a comment down below and we and uh, give it a thumbs up. We will see each other in the next in the next episode. Thank you so much and bye bye.